In this video, we're gonna fit the frames and the stem. Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Panu and I am building this 50 meter liverboard cruising sailboat. You can see behind me there. It should look eventually something like this. So in previous video, we got all the frames kind of lifted on their place. And this video is all about putting them down on their correct positions. And then we're also gonna start with the stem. I think I promised you that we will start with the stern assembly and I have already started with that, but I want to have it completely done before I do a video about it. You can maybe see some parts over there. So that is coming along nicely. If you want more real-time progress, you can go and check the Patreon page for weekly reports and more. But now let's jump back in time a little bit with these frames. So now the frames are on their places. It's time to start fitting them in a little bit. I'm not going to do the final installation just yet, but I want to fit them in the middle mold first. I actually marked now all the station things on the mold. The station numbers are different from the frame numbers. And I also got through all the placements where I need the frames to go on particular side of the frame. So which side is the accurate side? Because there is a small variations in the thickness of those frames. And I want a certain surface to be accurate with all the plans. So that I know that this surface is the accurate one and that one I cannot trust that much. So I marked all of those. This is for example is the frame 4 and it has the station number 3 on it because there are uh, several frames there and not all the frames have station number and so forth. And those are marked and now I'm gonna cut that middle mold a little bit so that those frames will drop down on their places over there and then I can see how they fit here on the bottom side or top side. So yeah, let's do that first. That should be pretty fast and easy. And then we'll figure out the next steps.
And just like that, all the frames are on their places, except for the frame 2 and 0, they're on the front, I'll deal with them later. But rest of them, they are now dry fitted and they went in super well. It wasn't that big of a job as I feared. Uh, it took maybe 15 to 30 minutes per frame. Some of them had a little bit more to trim than others and yeah, it went quite well. And yeah, the accuracy is just, I think, <laughs> it's much better than I was kind of expecting really. There's really only one thing that I need to kind of still figure out and here in the middle, about here from the frame 7, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, about these 7 frames here in the middle, they are a little bit high there in the middle mold. So I suspect that the middle mold is a little bit high there in the middle, so they kind of move a little bit from side to side. That's mostly just really minor. I think it's like um, maybe three to five millimeters maximum. This, this was the highest, this frame 10. There's a little bit movement there, so it's kind of resting on the middle mold there. I need to adjust those bolts a little bit, I think. I will check that later, it's not crucial right now. But you can maybe see that I already put a little stick over there just to try those slots for the ballast keels. They look quite good, not perfect, but quite good. I think they are within three millimeters in the right spot. That's pretty awesome, really. The next phase with the frames is to mark the water line and all of them and then make another measurement line down here. And for that I need to purchase some more plywood to make measurement pieces with the CNC to have correct places marked on all of them. That's gonna wait a little bit because I have a little bit of a tight financial situation right now. I am really hoping that it will get better very soon, but until then I need to do additional things. And there are really two things I started. And first one is the stern I mentioned, and the second is the stem piece assembly and uh, I think we'll jump into that right now. If you remember, we had a small issue with this bow section. I have this frame zero, which is a ring frame, and I didn't have a correct spot for it in this middle mold, which is between here. So I actually already cut off this forward area and kind of drive it this frame in here. And uh, there is a couple of things we need to do before we can put this on its correct position. First thing, of course, is this lower part here. This is not on its correct position yet. I need to get it a little, uh, two to three centimeters that way. But you, as you can see, it's already touching the surface here. So I need to trim this a little bit, as I did with all the rest of the frames. Then we need, of course, to fit it down on this slot. And then up there is another thing we need to deal with. And that is distance between these two molds here. I didn't quite manage to get the shape right corresponding this curved inner surface here. So we need to trim this a little bit because the correct spacing between this mold is uh, 
something like this, maybe 20 centimeters. And as you can see, this is quite different. So we need to get this right, but that's not a big deal. It really doesn't matter if it doesn't touch perfectly here because the placement for this frame comes from another things. By the way, you might have noticed that I have added a couple of pieces in here. And that's because back in the days when I did this frame uh, a year ago or something, I had a little bit different shape with this stem piece. Eventually, when I did the stem, I did it a little bit differently so that I needed to add some material in this frame zero to be able to put it against the stem right here. And uh, I did just a couple of pieces with CNC and glued them on their places. Fortunately, this frame had some extra material in here so that I could glue this in correct spot and had pretty much almost filled. There's a little bit of a void here and here. I need to fill them eventually, but they're not really any structural thing because the strips of wood go around here as one piece and these are just corners. So I will fill them later. But now this should be correct shape and it looks it's pretty close when I get this shape back and put it down. It should go right where it needs to go. We'll see about that. Just like that, the mold is back on its place. And yeah, it uh, just fits so freaking well in here. I really can't believe it. Even though I had this little bit of a fix here, it still fits super, super well. Anyway, this frame zero is now on its place. It's just dry fitted, of course. And now I think I will dry fit the stem for the first time in here and see how that goes. I'm quite sure that it will fit just fine, but we will see it right now. There is actually one thing I need to do before I can dry fit it and it is trim this right here. This is the extra material here and this further to connect with the frame in here. So I need to cut this off first so I can push it on its place.
and here it is. I of course needed to trim both ends up there and from down there. And now it sits on its place. It is, <laughs> it is super close to being perfect. It's not perfect, but uh, there is a just tiny bit of fiddling to do. I can see it, it sits on this frame a little bit over there. There's a little bit of a high spot in there. There's a little bit of a gap in here, but I think that's because of that. And I can see that maybe this corner right here is a little bit tight. And yeah, <laughs> it just sits on both ends so freaking well, especially down there. It's really, really satisfying. And I mean, this connection right here, I have this pattern here on the plywood and this pattern that I made with the CNC and they just fit so super well. After a little bit of a trimming here, I can push it a little bit further and there is now maybe a half millimeter step in there and yeah, this is just amazing. This feels so good. So a little bit of a trimming fiddling here and I think I'm gonna next take the other half of the stem and put it there on the other side so we can see how they fit together. I have already dry fitted them together and uh, there is a video about that from year ago or something. But uh, yeah, let's take that another half now and trim that and put it on its place as well so we can see the whole stem on its place. Exciting! And just like that, the both halves of the stem are on their places and it looks very, very good. They fit just amazingly well. Really happy with that. There is still some fiddling to do, trimming here and kind of fitting them all together. But uh, yeah, it's just that that's just a minor stuff, really. But of course, the rest of the boat from this angle looks super amazing as well. All the frames fit so well and uh, yeah, you can now really start feel the space inside the boat in here. So that is great. And that said, I think I'll end this video right here. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Give me a like, of course, and remember to subscribe to keep up with these videos. And if you want more real-time content, I suggest you go and check the Patreon page. I'm gonna develop the system there in near future quite a lot. So stay tuned for that. In next video, I hope we can get in the making that stern assembly. I'm gonna laminate it in a couple of days, I believe. So that is gonna be exciting as well. Now, bye-bye.